Middle School Science, States of Matter. The striking blue walls in this photo are actually the sheer ice walls of a massive glacier. The glacier in the picture is in Argentina, and the bluish water in the foreground is Lake Argentina. The photo represents an important concept of physical science. Can you guess what it is? Water, water everywhere. The photo seen here represents water in three common states of matter. States of matter are different phases in which any given type of matter can exist. There are actually four well-known states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Plasma isn't represented in the iceberg photo, but all the other three states of matter are. The iceberg itself is in its solid state. The lake consists of water in the liquid state. So question, where's the water in the gaseous state in this photo? Well, the water in the gaseous state you can't see because it's clear, but it's still there. It exists as vapor in the air. Water is one of the few substances that can commonly exist on Earth in more than one state, often in three. Many other substances typically only exist in either solid, liquid, or gaseous state. Can you think of examples of matter that usually exist in just one of these three states? Well, just look around you. You will see many examples of matter that usually exists in the solid state. They include soil, rock, wood, metal, glass, plastic. Examples of matter that are usually in the liquid state include things like cooking oil, gasoline, mercury, which is the only metal commonly existing in liquid. Examples of matter that usually exist in the gaseous state include oxygen, nitrogen, argon, all things that are found in our atmosphere. Phases are physical. A given kind of matter has the same chemical makeup and the same chemical properties regardless of what state it's in. That's because state of matter is a physical property, and as a result, when matter changes state, it doesn't become a different kind of substance. For example, water is still water whether it's in the form of ice, liquid, or vapor. Properties of solids, liquids, and gases. The most common states of matter on Earth are solids, liquids, and gases. How do these states differ? Their properties are contrasted in this video seen here. The states of matter are gas, liquid, and solid. Gases assume the shape and volume of their container. Particles of a gas are separated from each other, move in straight lines, and in a completely random manner. They change direction only when they collide with each other or the container. Liquids have a definite volume and assume the shape of their containers. The particles of a liquid are closely spaced, and so their motion is still random but much more limited. The particles slip past and collide with near neighbors. Solids have a definite shape and volume. Particles of solids are in fixed positions and collide only with near neighbors. The figure seen here shows that a liquid takes the shape of its container. How could you demonstrate this? Well, you could put the same volume of liquid in two different containers with different shapes, as seen here in this picture. We have a beaker on the left and a graduated cylinder on the right. The shape of the liquid in the beaker is short and wide, like the beaker is, while the shape of the liquid in the graduated cylinder is tall and narrow, like that container but each container holds the same volume of liquid. How can you show that gas spreads out to take the volume as well as the shape of its container? Well, if you pump air into a bicycle tire, the tire will become firm all over as the molecules spread out and take the shape of the tire as well as occupy the entire volume of the tire. Okay, so let's summarize states of matter. States of matter are different phases in which any type of matter can exist. There are four well-known states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. But only the first three states are common on Earth. 
state of matter is a physical property of matter. A given kind of matter has the same chemical makeup and the same chemical properties regardless of what state it is in. Solids have a fixed volume and a fixed shape. Liquids have a fixed volume but take the shape of the container. Gases take both the shape and volume of their container. 